Welcome back folks, my name is Lasno Meal, and today in Cyberpunk 2077 I will show you how to find the full rocker armor set. Keep in mind for some items you need to be level 30 to wear, so it's best to get it when you are a decent level in the game, but without wasting too much time, let's get into it. The first piece we are going to find is these scratch resistant polarized rocker aviators that you can find in Rancho Coronado. So go to this location I marked on the map. After that you will see Urban Garden Store and behind it Food Escape. So drive to the Food Escape and head left next to these um, containers and tents and you will see a woman lying here. Just pick it up from her. For the next item we are going to head to Pacifica, so left from the stadium we have this location everyone pretty much knows about. It's the one Pacifica area we had from the previous gameplay videos. Once you are here you have to head towards the road itself. On the right of that road you will see a little graffiti. Go up to it and continue forward. Once you reach these guys the reinforced seam cotton rocker tank will be on one of them so just pick it up. Next item on the list is the rocker vest. To find this you have to head to Kabuki, right here where I am on the map. Once you are here you will see this story. Go through it and continue forward. Go up the stairs on the right, head right again to another floor and continue forward and you will see this one neutral enemy here like a bodyguard guarding the door. So right close to him on this body you will find the item itself. After that we are going to find the puncture resistant rocker ankle boots. To find them head over right here to this building on the left side where I am on the map. Once you are there, go next to the water to the door. You will need 12 strength to open or just jump here, there is a boot which points it. Go through the gate and get the item, so you just have to go next to the water itself. The last item on a list can be a bit of a bother to get, but there are three ways to enter. For one, you will have 12 strength to open the door, or simply double jump on it to reach it. If you don't have the two, you can go to this location I showed you on the highway. Jump to the building on the right, so you don't flatline, then head right next to these and simply jump down. And on the body you will see an elastic flame resistant rocker pants. To exit, if you don't have the double jump, just stand on the cardboard sign next to the body and turn around, walk a little bit and jump. Should be easy, if you are not sure you can do it, save before you go in. As a bonus, I will also show you where to find a really cool shotgun. Now some people reported that they got a legendary version, I got the epic one, but it could be tied to the level itself or maybe the drop chance, I cannot confirm it yet. Maybe someone watching the vid might know, but hey, it's free. So go to Santo Domingo or well Arroyo until you see this mission right here, the NCPD stash one. Once you arrive, you will see this building. Walk into the courtyard and proceed up the stairs. There will be a few enemies up there, so take them out and go behind here. You should have the weapon going on this location. Now, I don't know if it's going to be a legendary or an epic one, but nevertheless, it's going to be extremely powerful. And that's it, this is the legendary rocker armor set. It can be of course upgraded with enough technical proficiency, but overall it's a cool looking set you can get. Some of the bonuses like the oxygen is completely useless, but the rest like the pants will reduce you know, fall damage, increase movement speed, reduce stamina for melee attacks, or the tank will increase the armor and give you some mod slots to play with or change them up. So overall, a pretty decent armor set. If you do want to see more, feel free to tell me and I will make more armor and weapon guides for your enjoyment. And also don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button for more Cyberpunk 2077 videos and also join our growing community on Twitter and Discord. I also have a Patreon page, if you were looking for an extra way to support the channel, you can do it through the link below. And huge thanks to my current Patreon supporters. This is LKM signing out and stay classy everyone, bye bye.